with my glasses on. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet and welcome to the yarn room. It is still a work in progress. Um, and I'll show you some of that in this video. Um, but I want to thank you all for joining me here today in the yarn room. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for uh, popping in. Uh, and I hope that you like what you see here and that you hit the subscribe, like, share, if you want to, any of those things, thummies, it's all good. I appreciate all of that. Uh, if you are one of my old friends, thanks for coming back. I know you guys like videos in the yarn room. Uh, this section doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I did, uh, if, if you saw the, I think the last, last video that's actually coming out, um, I had a yarn wall barf. I, I think I showed that, uh, maybe not. Um, I bought a Coke bottle display <laughs> and I will uh, insert a picture in here and well, I'll show you, it, you'll see it all. Anyway, I started to take yarn out of my stash, um, and put it in the Coke bottle. I originally thought all my donut yarns, well, all my donut yarns pretty much only took up the top shelf. There's one, two, three, four tiers to this. And I know it can hold a lot because it hold, it held Coke bottles, bottles of pop. So, you know, that's heavy. Um, so, and I put wheels on the bottom. It had a space to have wheels on the bottom. And so I can roll it around. But I don't want to keep it in here. It's it's kind of a good size. And so I'm going to keep it in the extra bedroom. And, but all the yarn will be visible. I just have to turn it. And you can see everything that's in there. But I can like store it off in a corner. And so that's my plan. But in that room right now, I have bins full of yarn. So when I took all of my... Um, donuts which is mostly sweet divinity out of there i still had like three whole rows of shelves to go so i started putting all of my thin weight yarns in there uh i thought it was going to be sugar wheels but i did not i put um all the stuff thinner than that ones and twos uh like the cotton uh the cotton kings and the um I can't grab them there. I have it turned and they're all on the other side. But those, you know, that you get from Hobie, uh, the one and two weights and the big beautiful cakes. Uh, it's a wrap. Um, uh, Rhapsody, something that uh, Hobby Lobby sold. Something Rhapsody, I can't think of it. Uh, I have some Hobie yarns. Uh, Hobie, yeah. Yeah these universals uh, from Hobie in here. Um, all those real thin yarns. You know what I'm talking about. But I have another shelf of thin yarns up on top of my shelves over there. I want to bring those boxes down and put them in here. And I'm thinking, since this is holding so much, I have six cub three cubbies up here that are completely empty in the shelf that avalanched on me. Uh, the whole shelf came down uh, and I started videoing it. I can't remember if it's in any video that you've seen where it was all falling over. Um, but I'm videotaping, putting everything back together and then I'm going to like fast forward through that. So I worked in here for a couple of hours. I put my cubicle back together. It's a cubicle like this. Uh, wait, can you see? Yeah. You know, just those plastic cubicles that you snap together. Um, but I put it back together and then I zip tied it and I was running out of zip ties. So when I was out shopping today, I bought more zip ties because I'm going to zip tie this sucker together. <laughs> the one on this side of the room, um, before it's all said and done and it starts to collapse on me as well. So I have some empty cubicles in this side. So I want to move all this yarn around. It's going to be a couple day project. Let's just know that in advance. Um, so, and I did do some moving around and I'll give you a whole final at the end of putting everything together, but I'm going to move some of this around and I have tubs 
you know, those big clear tubs of yarn in that third bedroom that I don't really want in there. And I was going to put them up in the attic, but then I would never see them. I would never use them because I originally built a studio up there to record in. It's hot in the summertime. It's up three flights of stairs. I don't go up there. I avoid going up there. <laughs> so I don't want to put my yarn up there. So I want to see how much more I can put back in here. Um, and this Coke bottle is allowing me a lot of additional space. So I'm thinking on the top shelves, I'm going to get some nice bins. Not the Dollar Tree bins because they're kind of wonky. But nicer bins than that. That I can turn sideways. Um, so that I can see what's in there. And, you know, so more cardboardish uh, than like the Dollar Tree little bins that are flimsy. Um, and I have, I think I have one downstairs that I can use and put up there and put some of the heavier weight yarns in. Um, the problem is the heavy weight yarns take up a good deal of space because they're thick. So I don't know how far my cubicles will go. I don't. But I took a lot of it out of these cubicles, but I am I might need to revamp this shelf. Well, the shelf behind me on this side is mostly uh, four weight yarns that are um, variegated. So maybe I will put a lot of those back in here in this side, because this is all four weight acrylic on this side. So maybe I'll take the variegated out of that shelf because it's a shelf, it's a bookshelf, heavy duty bookshelf like this. And I'll put the six weight, five and six weight bulkies over here. Um, or a lot of them. And uh, bins of them up on top up there. And I have a bin of yarn I'm going to do, and I don't, I'm, I have to go through all my yarns. But I'm going to do, a, uh, I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. Uh, and I'm going to do two giveaways. I'm As I'm sorting through this yarn, I'm putting together a bin of yarns that I want to give away. Just as a thank you giveaway. It might not be for another week or 10 days or two weeks. I don't know however long it's going to take. And I'm going to also do a giveaway in a different... It'll be a separate video uh, so that you don't get stuck. But I'm, I have yarns that are weird. Like... Um, like the loopy yarn, you know, with the loops. I think I have some of that up there. I'm never going to use that yarn. Um, so the I have yarn that looks like shoestring. It's, it's dark brown, and it looks like a dark brown shoestring. And I have like 10 little donuts of it, you know, the little ones. I'm never going to use that yarn. I've had it. I think I got it in a mystery bag someplace. I don't know. Um... I, or I bought it when I didn't know any difference between anything. I'm never going to use that. Um, and so I'm going to do a wacky weird giveaway. Uh, that's all the wacky weird yarns. Some yarns that I've used and didn't like. Um, I don't know if they'll go in the wacky weird because they're probably just really good yarns, but I didn't like them. Uh, but the wacky weird is going to go in a giveaway. And I do have Wacky Weird, um, like that yarn. I have some pom-pom yarn that I would like to put in the giveaway, but Amanda bought it for me, so I can't put it in the giveaway. She wants me to make a rug out of it. I keep saying that someday I will. She keeps she has asked me since she's bought it probably two years ago. When are you going to do something with that yarn? <laughs> like, I don't know, someday. <laughs> Monday. Uh, so anyway, I I know that I have some wacky weirds, and I don't know how many wacky weirds I have, but I I am gonna do a wacky weird yarn giveaway for anybody that wants to try something unusual, uh, and then I'm and I'm gonna do a giveaway with good yarn. Uh, you know, it's not it's not that the wacky weird isn't good yarn, but it's just yarn that I know I'll never use because. It's different. Um, so, that being said, I, I am trying to sort those things out as I go. Um, maybe there'll be some 
I don't, I don't know, whatever I can find that's different and I know I won't use is going to go into that giveaway. Uh, but I did go to Michael's today. I had to return shoes I bought for Ari and Michael's happens to be like two stores down from Famous Footwear. So I returned the shoes and then I thought, well, I haven't been in Michael's in a long time because I really have been trying to avoid buying yarn. So by doing that, I have to stay out of the yarn stores. It's been really and truly a minute, but there was something I wanted to look for that they did not have, and it was not a yarn thing. Um, but there's a, I have this idea for Christmas presents, and I need this specific thing. Um, and I, it, it's for, I, they didn't have what I wanted anyway. So bottom line is I didn't get it there. And, but they have t-shirts on sale for $2.99, crew neck t-shirts, and this summer that's all I've been wearing. I have a whole bin of really cool, oh, well, I don't remember what's in there actually, all my summer clothes, and I pulled out two pairs of jean shorts out of this bin, and that's it. Everything else that was in there that I packed away last fall is still in that bin. Two pairs of shorts, and then I've been wearing t-shirts. And the same, like, five t-shirts. <laughs> uh, so, I thought, well, if t-shirts is my... Uh, and some dresses. I have worn some dresses. I have some nice summer dresses. that I, I mean, they're just, like, t-shirt dresses uh, that I do like to wear. Sleepless, though. Um, and I even wear those at the camper and everything. Um, but anyway, I've been mostly just t-shirts and shorts. I don't have... I have not, like, taken out one nice-looking tank top or summer top that's not a t-shirt out of that bin. So I feel kind of bad about that. But when I work at the law office, I don't wear those kind of clothes there. Uh, at the casino, I have to wear a uniform. So usually I come home from those places, take a shower and get in my jammies because, <laughs> you know, I'm done for the day. Uh, or I throw on a t-shirt. And then we go to the camper, and I was like, oh, just grab a couple t-shirts and a couple pairs of shorts, and away you go. So, uh, I'm, like, tired of wearing the same daggone t-shirts. And they have t-shirts on sale for $2.99. In my size, they had black and navy blue. I'm like, are you kidding? You look online, and they have all kinds of real pretty. They have lavender and teal and pink and yellow and light blue. And in the whole building... You cannot find those colors in my size. Uh, I wear a 2X, and they have them in every color, every size, from kid to 3X. And they have pretty colors, except my size. They must have sold out. Not even online, I can't get them. So, I bought two, a black and a navy blue. I'm a little disappointed in that. And I look through the yarn, so if I can figure out how to fast forward through, because there's music, or, or how to talk over, you know, take, a, take the music out of the background. Otherwise, I'll show you some just pictures and try to talk over. But um, I, I saw for the first time in person some of the new, <laughs> which, are probably, which are now kind of old cake yarns. Um, from Yarn Inspiration and... and um, Karen Cotton, you know, the, they had cloud cakes there. You guys, I was really shocked. I thought they didn't make cloud cakes anymore, but they had two skank, two cakes only, uh, of one color and it was a multi striping What the cloud cakes. I've only seen them in solids. Um, I didn't buy any 12 99. Ho, ho, no way. Nothing was on sale. Not one skein of yarn was on sale. Uh, and I don't need yarn enough that I'm going to pay $12.99. I don't need yarn at all. Well, let's be serious. And there's no way I'm paying $12.99 for cloud cakes. It's wonderful, wonderful yarn. I mean, it's so soft and cuddly. Um, but I wouldn't wait for it to go on sale if I had to have it, you know. Uh, anyway, they had some other yarns there that I've never seen before. Um, besides the cotton. Uh, you know, the the Karen cakes, uh, the the Blossom. There was another one I had never actually physically seen in person. 
they did not have hardly any of their house brand yarns, so I, I didn't even video that aisle. But there were a couple other yarns that I've seen, or that I don't remember seeing before. So I looked at those and put the price up and all that. Uh, and so maybe we'll see it. We'll, we'll see if I can figure out how to take the music out of the background and, the, and talk over the video. I know this is already getting long and I haven't said anything to you yet or showed you anything yet. Um, but after I went to Michael's and, and uh, what did I buy in Michael's? Oh, I bought two t-shirts. Uh, I went to my Mark store and I bought another one of these bins. I know Nancy's going to love this one. But I think I might put some of my six weight yarn in one of these bins as well. Because they're they're very stackable in these bins. I like these bins. And it was $3.99. So, and it's got puppy prints on it. But it holds a great deal of yarn. I have a lot of cakes in the others. Um, and then I have one finished object to show you. And I'm sorry, I have an itchy eye. I finished. I'll show you that in a minute. Um I, start, I started a test pattern for um, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She's going to be in another magazine. I don't know what I'm allowed to say or show. I'm not showing anything yet. It, when I show it, it'll be in its own video. Um, but I'm making it out of the Dazzling yarn. And this is, don't mind the crinkle. It's not this colorway. But do you remember this yarn from Hobby Lobby? It, this is all the same color. But there's so many colors in each one. This isn't the color that I'm doing. But this yarn. I don't know why they got rid of this yarn. You guys, it is so soft. You can't feel the metallic in it. Oh, I love it. I totally love it. I'm like, what is wrong with them? Why did they do that? This is nice yarn. Uh, it's a four-way acrylic and soft. Or maybe it's not acrylic. Uh, yeah, 98% acrylic and 2% metallic because it's got that shine in there. I'm really loving it. It's the first time I've worked with it. I mean, I knew it was soft when I bought it, but oh, love it. The pattern is fabulous. I can't wait for you guys to be able to do it. Uh, so I spent a little bit of time doing that last night and I finished the pink blanket out of the college blankets. The pink one is Chloe's color. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. The pink border is a little bit brighter against it than what I thought, but I totally love it. Um, and this is, this is a pattern by Mikey. Mikey has a tutorial for this pattern and I will link it. It was taking me a minute to think about it. It, uh, and I am using, um, The white is uh, the Craft Smart from Michaels. <laughs> I can't seem to get my words out. The pink is Super Saver Ombre in the color Jazzy. And get a close up. Now, I did make one change to the pattern. Let me show you just unfolded. Uh, it goes this way so you can. Yeah. So the pattern calls for you just to do double crochet and then V-stitch and then double crochet. I wanted more texture in it because Chloe likes a lot of texture. So when it gets to the rows where you're just doing V-stitch, I mean double crochet, I did the first row of double crochet, the second row I did treble but behind the post so you get that ridge. And then I went back to double crochet, but behind that post to get the, or in front of, you know, had to move the post to whichever way. So it was always in the front, you know, the ridge. Um, so I did make that change to the pattern just to give it a little more texture. Uh, and Mikey does this with four strands of four weight yarn. I am using two strands of four weight yarn. So this is the pink one. And then it will be next to the purple one or whatever way they decide to put them. Here, let's show you the... So when they're when they're buttoned together, the purple and the pink, or whichever colors, will go over each other. But when they're laying up against each other, they'll kind of 
you know, these are, so this is two out of the four. I think the girls are going to love them. And they're going to look so cool draped against their couch, however they, you know, decide to do it. Um, so that they can each have their, I've got fibers all over, each have their own. Now, what's really strange is I counted the sections of rows, and that's how I made them be the same. So I hope they're the same, because I did not use the same amount of yarn. But they do have the same amount of rows. So, I don't know why I have more yarn in uh, the purple one than I have in the pink one. Um, but let me, let me show you what we got going on here. In the pink one, you sit right here and be good. The border is uh, Craft Smart. The pink border is Craft Smart Neon Pink. And this is what's left of two. I had three. Here's the third one. So I'm just, uh, because I still have extras. I'm just going to put these back in this bag and then it's going to go on my shelf with the one skein that I have left. Um, so that whatever I now have, like a skein and a half instead of just one skein. That's not going to go in the, that doesn't go in the scrap bin if I have a whole nother ball, skein, cake, whatever. The pink, however... I started with four of these. Now on the purple, you know what? I had five of the purple, maybe, I think. Anyway, I started with four. I have two plus this much left. I don't think I used that. I think I used more on the purple. Let's look at the labels. I have, I do believe... There's no labels in here. No. I have all the labels in here. This is what I was carrying it around in until it gets too big. Um, so white, white. I used three white on the first one. I know for sure. And there was like not much left on the white. The one white was big twist. Uh, so let's see. I think, yeah. Yeah. So this, I went into this white, but it still has the label on it. So, so far I have used one, two, wait, that's two. One, two, three, four, five, six white complete plus a little bit of the six, I mean, of the white. And, oh, I only have violet. The, the purple one, it, the colorway is violet, jazzy. Jazzy, violet. Oh, okay. So I can, I used not completely two of the I have yeah I had four so I have two I used up not quite two of the jazzy and I have a little extra of the purple but I think I must have had five because hold on now this is going to make me crazy I have to know So I used two, I have two empty, plus a little bit of this one cake. Or one, because I have three, I had five to start with of this color. So I completely used two, plus a little bit of the third one. So I used like a half a skein less of the pink. How could that be? But the blankets are the same size, so I don't know. I mean, as far as same number of rows goes. <laughs> and I used the same five millimeter or 12 millimeter hook um whatever they're, it's done <laughs> but I don't understand why I have more of the pink left and didn't go into the third skein 
Um, but I'm going to do the next color. I don't know, yellow or or teal. I think I have the yellow downstairs, but not the teal. So probably I'll start yellow next because that's what's downstairs and that's where I crochet. Um, but I'm keeping all the labels together so that I'll know how much I have done. Uh, I'm going to bag these or put these away, but I think I'm going to put them in this bin along with the extra. Again, in case you need that little extra. Uh, and then the pinks will go back up here. Um, hold on. Oh, okay. Um, spam's calling me again. They're my best friend. They call me all the time. I Sometimes I just have to not answer their call. Uh, so, once it got big, then I put it in my Santa sack <laughs> um, to, to carry it around. And now that they're done, they're in a Hobie bag. <laughs> You know, you go to, uh, not Hobie, Hobby Lobby. You go to Hobby Lobby and, and you buy their big bags. They're really good size for blankets. And now I need to refold them. But anyway, the pink one is done. And I'm going to start the one, uh, the next one today. I'm very excited about that. Uh, so my yarns will, other yarns will go back downstairs. The um, I think I'm going to put all of my... Uh, super saver ombre is going to go in this basket. I mean, that's what I was thinking when I bought the basket, but now that I've been in here and I'm thinking maybe I need to put those four weight yarns that are variegated over here so I can put the bulky yarns up there. And I thought maybe bulky yarns would go in here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Something will turn out. Uh, so that's really all the updates that I have for you. And I'm sorry, you got all of my other blah, blah, blahs in there as well. If I can figure out this, uh, yarn shopping thing, it'll be in. It won't be real long. Uh, I, I didn't tape real long in Michael's because there was a woman in the aisle. <laughs> and so, uh, I was a little embarrassed about that when she was, uh, um, you know, she was kind of walking around, uh, uh, uh woman from Michael's, an employee. And so when I heard her, I kind of like, I gotta, gotta not do this. <laughs> I felt kind of weird about doing that. I know a lot of people have no problem doing that, but I don't do it often. So I kind of felt a little uh, awkward, but I wanted to show you the yarns that I had not seen. I know I'm probably the only one that hasn't seen them, but it's, I went into Hobby Lobby for their clearance sale. And I literally, I think I've been in Michael's once and Joanne's twice. When I was looking for, I went into Joanne's to look for the ombre yarn. And that's the first time since the Hobby Lobby clearance in April uh, that I've been in Joanne's. And I don't think I've been in Michael's at all. Um, so any new yarns are probably here and gone <laughs> and I missed them. Uh, which is a good thing for my budget and my space. But really, I miss being in the yarn store, I have to say. I miss seeing the yarns. Even though I've watched people buy them on TV. And I'm like, I don't really want to touch that. <laughs> I don't want to go in there and know how soft that is. Or how luscious that is. Or how brilliant the colors are in person. Um, because then I want to buy it. And we are moving in a year and a half. <laughs> I have... I don't want to, I don't want to move my yarn, but I'm definitely moving my yarn. Uh, I just don't want to have to unpack it, uh, pack it and unpack it again. After, specifically after I had the avalanche <laughs> again, another avalanche, but uh, hopefully that won't happen again. So anyway, uh, I'm just rambling now. So I'm going to let you go and cross your fingers that you get yarn at the end of this, um, you know, a little bit of Michael's. And I will see you guys in the next video. Upcoming will be more uh, decorations here or renovations in here. And uh, then I'll show you what the whole Coke bottle thing looks like when it's done. But it's really cool. So if you didn't see it in the last video, go check that video out. Uh, and you can see, see it before it has yarn in it. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. So here we have some yarn that looks like homespun. It was really pretty in several different colors. Uh, and it was 7 dollars 
you have to bear with me this is my first time to do this type of recording over something I've never done it before so let's see how well this works out for us uh, the next yarn up is I believe uh, the Karen cotton or Karen cakes aisle uh, and there were several very nice uh, yarns in that that one up at the top looks li like uh, Hobium uh, Horizon then they had some marl cakes and some blossom cakes which I had never seen before because uh, I haven't been in the yarn stores in a minute all of these newer cakes uh, were $12.99 and I love the uh, I think those are cinnamon cakes or blossom cakes there the muted colors were so pretty uh, and the yardages were you know what they are uh, and this was the cloud cake the uh, they had two skeins of this also $12.99 um, and only in this color I've never seen them in um, a self striping before then they had this yarn. I didn't know they loops and threads had or crafter smart had come out with a kitchen cotton. It's a dollar cheaper than the sugar and cream, but a little bit less yardage. But the same texture uh, and you know lots of uh, colors between the two of them. But that's why I wanted to show you the both. Uh, they've had this one for a while. I have this very yarn in a donut form that I bought to do curtains for my bathroom, which I still haven't made yet, but I was surprised they still have it. Uh, and then this yarn was, um, I think this was, uh, oh, this is the one that was uh, a new bulky, kind of similar to uh, Homespun, but thicker. And then they had this yarn I've never seen before and I didn't do a very good uh, <laughs> picture of it, but it's really pretty. Uh, and this tinsel, uh, which was also a very nice yarn, I think. Um, and I don't remember the price of it. But that's all I got for you today. Thank you. Bye.